So, I was, uh, a person responded to, uh, an answer I gave about a question they had, uh, in saying that, um, <clears throat> the Quran is a beautiful book and, uh, full of lovely things, and that it's, it's just as good as the Bible or the Book of Mormon. Now, this was a Mormon saying it, and I think it, they do this, the Mormons denigrate the Bible. And when it comes to Islam and Mormonism, even though theologically we're, um, we're closer to the Muslims, because they're monotheists at least, uh, you have the same problems with the Quran and the Book of Mormon. And that if they can say, well, the Quran isn't that bad, and that it's just bigotry that people say that it's uh, violent and, and uh, warlike and commanding the conquest of the earth and subjugation to Sharia law. <clears throat> and that there's multiple interpretations of it. Which is true, there's multiple interpretations of the Quran. But there's not an exhaust, uh, inexhaustible amount. And there's pretty much five. Um... And even then, not interpretations. It, it's pretty locked in with, at least within Sunniism. Uh, you have the Sunnah and the Sirah to guide you. Um, but let's go through this. I mean, I had already gone over this again, but it, it's just so deeply offensive that people would... That somebody would say to me after I wrote... That, and I have in... The last video that I did, it's the Quran, Arthur Marsh, and my life. An elaboration on what I said or what I wrote. Um, you have my, what I had said, and then their response to me. And somebody, it, it, it's shocking that somebody can actually read the Quran and claim to be uh, a Christian as Mormons claim to be Christians. Read this book that calls for the subjugation of the Christians. That says that the Jews and the Christians are bound to hellfire. Say it's a lovely book. Or that endorses <clears throat> slavery, raiding, rape, um... Well, I guess they like the polygamy aspect of it. And Mormonism had done that for a while. They, they had done all these things. The Old Testament doesn't endorse slavery. Right? <coughs> it's a reality of life. But by the New Testament, there's no slavery is not something among the Christians. And when it was... <coughs> when Christi Christianity came about, it stamped it out. Right. And it brought about, you know, it's a men and women are equal in the eyes of God, this kind of thing. For somebody to say, oh, I've, I've started reading the Quran. It's a lovely and beautiful book. After somebody had written paragraphs of how leaving... This belief system ideology was a very hard and difficult thing. But they had to do it because of their conscience. And then for somebody just to be hand-waving and saying, No, 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 you just don't understand it. I I don't understand it. it the, 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 the arrogance. The coldness. This is what I don't understand. Like, look at all the people who have been killed by their own family members for converting to Christianity. And the coldness to say, well, you just don't understand. You must have been listening to too much Fox News or something like that. Is irritating. I'm going to go through and read El Enfal, the 8th the sewer of the Quran. Peace to you.